is blinking. I'm on the brink of drinking. Sick of all these riders that's stinking. I'll be like, get it done, fuck out. My car, my car. But brother, we ain't going that far. I'm sorry, but ooh, it don't pay. And live even worse. You smell like dead cats and ass. Do this look like a hearse? This beat might be funky. This car be smelling like money. My engine running every morning. Girl, so don't call me honey. I'll be like, get it done, fuck out. My car, my car. But baby, we ain't going that far. I'm sorry, but ooh, it don't pay. And live even worse. I know you're running late for work. Get your phone in your purse. I've been waiting seven minutes. Then you come and get in. And then you tell me that your friend around the block wanna spin. What? You to stop ain't got no time on the clock you say your cash app is locked so i'm pulling the lot and be like get the fuck out my car my car but man we ain't going that far i'm sorry but ooh it don't pay and live even worse i know it hurts i have to walk but that's just how the shit works i'm saying get the fuck out my car my car my car my car my car, my car. <laughs>let you guys listen to this story that's in the media right now down in Houston now it's about a Lyft driver who supposedly does this part-time and was shot by a passenger but not while he was on Lyft it was a private ride check out what the media is saying now a driver is recovering in the hospital after he was shot by a passenger who hired him for a ride in Fort Worth. Fort Worth police are searching for the gunman and a woman who was with him. Fox Wars Peyton Yeager is live in Fort Worth. And Peyton, you spoke to that driver. Clarice, I did, and that driver, the victim, tells me he was a little uneasy when the suspect got in the car because the suspect got in the front seat and then was hesitant in paying up front, and then a woman got in the back seat. The victim says that the suspect demanded his car and then opened fire. He shot me down, looked at my arm. I'm like, I got shot, I got shot. So all I see is blood, blood. I'm like, I don't know if I go left, I don't go right. So I think he's got the apartment and go to the nearest convenience store. Okay, I'm going to stop that right there. Now, he's saying the guy got in the front seat. The girl got in the back seat. They demand, he asked for money. The guy wouldn't pay him. And all of a sudden, the guy whips out a gun, shoots him, and he goes, I'm shot, I'm shot. Now he's thinking about which way does he go, left or right. He never says if the people got out of the car. So were the people still in the car when he was going left and right? Did he just take off? See, that, that part is missing to me. And why would somebody sh just get in the car, shoot somebody because they wouldn't give them a ride, then get out and just start running? No robbery took place. No carjacking took place. Just shot them. In my opinion, you know what I think? I think he was trying to buy a gun or something like that, and he just so happened to get shot. I don't know, maybe, maybe, but it the story just sounds real funny. Just somebody gets in, don't wanna pay you the few bucks, shoots you, gets out the car and takes off running. What What about the girl in the backseat? Did you wait till she got out? Or were you making sure everybody was buckled in? It's just something just don't add up with this story right now. Mark's Jean made the quick decision to drive to a nearby Taco Casa after he was shot multiple times Tuesday evening. So, he got shot, they got out of the car, no robbery happened, no give me your wallet, give me your phone, give me your car key, they shot him and just got out of the car. He let him out, both of them, let both of them out, and he drove to a nearby convenience store. How convenient. The 29-year-old from Arlington bleeding as he dialed 911 for help. Honestly, I'm feeling blessed. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm in pain, but at the same time, I'm blessed to be here. Jean tells Fox 4 from his hospital bed Wednesday he's been driving for Lyft on the side for five years. However, Tuesday night, he agreed to a ride off the platform from an apartment complex near Crowley Road and Sycamore School Road. Jean says he met the gunman last week while giving him a Lyft ride and offered his phone number for any future off the book rides. And there you have it. This attempted murderess was actually a legitimate lift rider. So if this guy was a legitimate lift rider, he was already on the lift app, which means lift probably didn't vet this guy. You could have been shot whether or not you were doing a private ride or not. The guy didn't say, I'm gonna shoot you because it's not on the app. 
He didn't say that. That's not what murderers usually do. They don't say, I'm going to shoot you because there's no app around. No, this guy was actually a Lyft rider on the Lyft app. And he gave this guy his phone number. So he knew his phone number, knows his name. They're not sending on the media for some reason. Knows the girl probably, not sending on the media for some reason. But yet, they said, well, he met him on Lyft because he requested a wire from him last week. And he gave him a business card saying, call me next week. You see how they're setting this story up, right? You see how they're setting it up. It makes no sense to me. They don't say the guy's name, the attempted murderer's name. But he's still on the Lyft app out there in society somewhere, still on the Lyft app. Lyft apparently knows him. This guy claims he knows him. The police, if they say, well, where'd you meet the guy? Do you got his phone number? You got his name? But yet, it's on a private ride that he got shot, not while he was on the app. So the app is safe, but the guy came off the app. Make it make sense. Once the suspect was in the car, Jean asked for a fare to be paid up front. An argument took place, and then Jean says the suspect opened fire, striking him in the arm and the leg. He pulled a gun on me. I'm like, yo, what's going on? I mean, I had, I'm like, it's all going fast. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, yo, give me your car. Get, you're going to get out the car. We don't know if this was going to lead to a carjacking, some kind of robbery, uh, but it did involve a disagreement. Now, listen to what this officer says. We don't know if this was going to lead to a carjacking or robbery, but it did have a disagreement. What do you mean? We don't know if this was going to lead to a carjacking. It didn't lead to a carjacking or robbery, apparently. So you can't say we don't know. He's speaking in current. We don't know if this is going to lead to a carjacking or a robbery. What do you mean? You don't know. It already happened if he already called you and this is after the fact. Unless you're setting up a scenario, setting up a story, setting up a situation to put out in the media as if this would have happened. And you say, well, we don't know if this was going to lead to a carjacking or a robbery. We just know that there was a disagreement. And during disagreements, there could be a carjacking or a robbery. We don't know that. Speak about what happened, not about what you do or don't know. What you do know, apparently, is somebody was shot during a private ride, if that really happened. But to sit up and go, well, we don't know if this was going to lead to a carjacking or a robbery, but we know a disagreement occurred. He's speaking from a situational standpoint, not an actual standpoint. A situational standpoint leads you to make statements like this. Hey, what if somebody was taking a ride off the app? What do you, well, we don't know if it can lead to a, you know, a carjacking or a robbery. We don't really know because it's a private ride. We don't know. If you keep it on the app, then we know if it would lead to a carjacking or a robbery because if you're on the app, it doesn't lead to a carjacking or a robbery. You see how stupid it sounds for him to say, we don't know if this was going to lead to a carjacking or rock. This is a setup story, y'all. This is what they put out. It's a setup story. It did involve a disagreement. The gunman took off on foot. Fort Worth police are still looking for the suspect. What kills me is that they're not looking for suspects with an S. I thought there were two people. If two people walk into a 7-Eleven and rob 7-Eleven, wouldn't you be looking for the suspects with an S? If two people rob your house, burglarize your house, but only one had a gun, wouldn't you still be looking for two people? Why do they keep saying looking for the suspect? What happened to the lady in the back seat? I'm telling y'all, this story is not well put together. If there were two people involved in the transaction, a man and a woman, just a random man and a woman, wouldn't you be looking for both of them, not just one of them? One of the things we want to make sure we stress is it's always safest to use the applications that are out there. For instance, Lyft, it has emergency notifications. It lets you know who you picked up, where you picked them up from, and their destination. And there's your sales pitch. Just like I was saying, this would not have happened if you were just on Lyft. Because Lyft is the safest. Take it from me, a police officer. Because we would know whether or not it would be a carjacking or a robbery if you would have left it on Lyft. I thought this guy was a murderer, attempted murderer. I thought this is what he does. It doesn't make a difference if he's on an app or not. They're, they're not even talking about making sure you're safe in a situation in public, making sure you pay attention to your surroundings in public, making sure you get good information from people, get their name, get their description, because we don't have a description on this newscast. We don't know what these people look like. And apparently if this guy is on Lyft and Lyft doesn't know who he is and nobody knows who he is, he can get in anybody's car right now. Same with the lady. We don't have a description. We don't have, well, on the app, he used this account. Well, Lyft would have a picture to show us who not to let in your car if you're in the Houston area, right? 
This is a sales pitch. It's a scare tactic slash sales pitch put on by Lyft. We have seen the media, mainstream media, take a hit for integrity, especially during this election, especially during COVID. We know the media is quick to take dollars and go, hey, you know what? We'll put out a story for you. What do you want us to say? How do you want us to present it? The media is quick to take sponsorship. What do you want us to say? How do you want us to say it? This story is not well put together. And for this officer at the end to have that Lyft sell pitch, for instance, Lyft is the safest because on Lyft, we don't have guys like him. The dude came off of Lyft. Durr. <laughs> Again, Jean is in a Fort Worth hospital and he had surgery late this afternoon. Fort Worth police tell me they are still looking for the gunman and they also want to speak to the woman who was present for the shooting. Now, Lyft tells us while this didn't happen on their platform, they are assisting Fort Worth police in the investigation and in their statement, Lyft says off the platform rides are prohib prohibited. Clarice? Peyton. And I'll be the first to tell you, off-app rides are not prohibited. Any one of us can have an app built by anybody we want. We could ride on any app. There are millions of apps out there. There's also people who have their own business license, livery certificate, commercial insurance, livery insurance, their own vehicles. Off-app rides are not prohibited. They want you to think in your head that if you have to travel somewhere, you need an application. You need to use big tech. You do not have to use big tech. If my neighbor across the street says, Jeff, can you take me to the airport? My, my car just got a flat tire. Do you think we need to call Lyft and Uber? Hey, is it okay if I take my neighbor across the street to the airport? It's not gonna be on an app. This is still the, the real world we live in. We're not in the matrix. We're outside of the matrix. So when she asked me if I could take her to the airport, sure. I walk out the house, fire my car up, throw her luggage in the back. I take her to Terminal 4. No problem. I do it all the time. Do you think Liv has a right to come to my house and go like, Jeff, that's prohibited. It's not on the app. That's prohibited. No, we've been doing this since cars were invented. That's why we got passenger doors. That's why we got back seats. There's more people in a car than just a driver. We have a right in our car to take people where we need to go. It does not have to be on an app. A lot of people want to say, well, what about commercial insurance? What about, you know, authority? What about if you want to do a business doing this, knock yourself out. If it's a friend of yours, you guys are hanging out, having fun. Even if you met them on Lyft, I can meet them at the grocery store at Walmart. That don't mean I can only talk to them at Walmart. I could talk to them outside of Walmart. If I meet somebody on Lyft and we jive, we like basketball, motorcycles. We like women and hanging out. Hey, guess what? We going to talk about it outside of Lyft. Hey, man, I love going to this little club, this little spot, man. Yeah, I love that. Man, let's let's do it Saturday. Let's go hit this spot up. Cool, man. Here's my number. Hit me Saturday. I'm always down there. You think, well, you can't be friends outside of the app. You can't have communications outside of the app. It's prohibited. And you can't give them rides. Even if he's your friend you're cool with, the fact that you met him on Lyft, you got to keep him on Lyft. Especially if he's going to carjack you or murder you, you need to leave that on Lyft so other people can have it happen to them. Because we don't know who this guy is, nor are we going to say his name. We're going to let, let that happen to somebody else. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you another clip that it's a news clip, but this is how minimal they made this news. I'm going to show you the whole clip just straight through. This is how minimalistic of information they're giving the public if this dude is truly a threat, truly a threat to what a point he's shooting drivers instead of taking care of drivers. You think they like be putting information out about this guy. I mean, if a driver was doing something to, to the public, they say that driver was dangerous. They pull him off the app. They have his name out there and everything. But the fact that this guy, his name is not put out. This lady's name's not put out. Their account's not put out there. This is his minimalistic. Their description ain't even put out there. Drivers should have a right to sue these apps for making a danger to the public. If you know there's a killer on the loose and you're not telling us who it is and we letting these people in our car because they're on the app exactly where this guy comes from, you should be liable for that. Say a Lyft driver is lucky to be alive. He was shot during an off the books ride this week. You know, pulling his gun out, talking about get off the car. So I'm frozen like if he could do it to me, he could do somebody else. All right, so police say the driver agreed to a private ride at an apartment complex in South Fort Worth. He says a man and a woman got in, they started arguing, then that man pulled out a gun and fired at the driver. Police are asking anyone with any information to give them a call. <laughs> 
Uh. Had to win my battle for keys and blend with the trees. Commit penalties. You ain't assemble with me. We the three double zero. A villain superhero. Angel Hall like the Nero. Cigars like Puro. Celebrate the hating that we get. Cause it's like that. Despite that, despite that. You can put the pipe back. You jaded crack baby from the 80s. Cause you tripping. Time keep on slipping. But I'ma keep on lifting all my people out of poverty with missions and assignments. 11 11 tatted. Cause I stay in the alignment. I'm bringing all the smoke to your choke. Cause I'm on one. I'm not done. I fear no man, do not run The shit that you got is all the shit that I had I've been up, now I'm on my landing pad like SpaceX